You don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. Simone, you, have a you do oh. have a choice. Breathe. Breathe. Oh, oh my god. You good? I felt so helpless. I, I, I was totally suffocating there. Oh. All right, well, I have some good news Thanks. for you. In this video, we're going to talk about the suffocating grip between staying in your job and following your dreams. The Hero Within. Within. We're back. Woo! Oh, shit. <laughs> Same green couch, different location. Yes, finally. Yep. We're, we're still unpacking, but we mm. finally made it here. Yes, indeed. <laughs> so before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button mm. down below. Give it a nice little jab, you know what I'm saying? Awesome. Mm -hmm. I like to start off with a quote from author Graham Brown. He states that life is about choices. Some we regret, some we're proud of, and some that will haunt us forever. Ooh. The message here is, we are what we choose to be. Mm -hmm. Think about that for a second. We are what we choose to be. Mm -hmm. We have the choice to be anything we want. Profound. I know, right? So if we are what we choose to be, what are we when we're working dead-end soul-sucking jobs? This is a question we like to answer. Right now. Yeah. Whether you realize it or not, society has molded you to be submissive to authority rather than thinking outside the box. Oh man. Yeah, scary shit. And definitely what Kevin said was right. Being abnormal or different, unique, whatever you want to call it, mm. is considered dangerous, especially when you're growing up. <laughs> There's the whole thing about pack mentality, likability. We as humans like to be liked, and that's a thing that is just inherent in our genes. It's inherent in our survival. Even in tribal times, going against the tribe was basically death. Because if you're by yourself, you don't have people to protect you. You don't have the capability to, you know, get food with other people and everything else. You have a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So. The thing here is that continues to go on and on from generation to generation and, and at that point we tend to just sacrifice our individuality for the whole. Even if we don't feel good about it, even if we know it's wrong, even if we you know, don't feel comfortable, it's better than being singled out and made fun of. The other thing is that critical thinking is underrated. No, sure. Unless you're in a field that requires it or unless you're self-interested, you'll almost never find a critical thinking class. It's very underrated yeah. and very important to learn how to do. If you ever see a class, definitely take it. It's definitely eye-opening. It makes you see the world a little bit differently. Yep, I took one. So yeah. I recommend it. Same here. Mm -hmm. The last thing we're going to address is vague authoritarian messages. Mm. You've been hearing them your entire life. You know, listen to your mother. <laughs> I am the teacher here. You have to go to college. All these messages that people tell you you have to do something, but you they don't really explain why, or their explanation is pretty bogus because I said so. Mm. Which is like my favorite, you know, comeback for any parent, right? These are all frustrated mm. authoritarian messages basically saying you must submit to my way of thinking, not because you respect it, but because you have to. Mm. And as George Carlin likes to say, Parents should earn respect, not be given respect automatically. Rest in peace. Yes, indeed. In general, we're pretty much clubbed to death with messages of that's just the way things are, mm -hmm. don't rock the boat, you know, you should just do what your parents did or whatever the case is. Yeah. They tell you what to do, but they don't allow you to question your own choices and why it's good for you. Which is why a lot of people end up making mistakes, especially our generation. Mm. When we're told all these things, go to college, get a good job. You know, the typical thing that you, you, what you're supposed to do doesn't always work out for us. Mm -hmm. And then we're wondering why. This, there's a model here, it's supposed to work, but it doesn't. And then they just tell you, you didn't work hard enough. Yep. Which isn't always true, but that's just the way things are, right? Or as most people were blaming on is the uh, avocado toast. 
you know, <laughs> whether it's buying too much avocado toast. I never had avocado toast in my life, so I don't know <laughs> what that's about. It's amazing. Oh, uh, typical millennial. I, I, you know, tree hugging, <laughs> hippie, whatever, uh, loving all that stuff, the yoga. Mm. Just, just ruining everybody's life. Yep. <laughs> Gotta pull yourself up by our bootstraps. Uh huh. Throwback shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fast forward a little bit. So now you're an adult and you got some things happening here. You know, you work a crappy job because you need money. Number two, you would like to, you know, take gigs or take that class or workshop, but you can't because you're out of energy and time after a full work day. Mm -hmm, she knows. And, <laughs> and number three, if you leave the job, you won't have any money, so you're stuck in this crappy, indecisive purgatory and this goes on and on with seemingly no end. Sounds fucking upsetting. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna tell you something that's gonna blow your mind. This is not your fault, but it is your responsibility to figure out how to make life work for you. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this. Mm. All of us are ill-prepared to go through life when we come of age. Mm -hmm. And we won't even know this until we actually get out there and start living on our own, paying our own bills, Cleaning our own apartments, mm, fixing yep. our own cars, working our own jobs. Almost getting evicted, but well, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And now think of this. All of your insecurities, habits, and self-defeating ideas haunting you at every turn because mm. now you're alone and you don't really always have the support. Mm. They're stopping you from talking to that girl, going on that diet, you know, uh, going to audition for that play, mm -hmm. putting yourself in any contests, all because you think you're not good enough. And keep in mind that this is absolutely normal. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks that the world is better than them. Even people who are already in higher positions, even actors that are A-listers, writers that are on all these commercials and shows and movies, they still think that they have some kind of fraud identity that they're a really great writer, artist, musician. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely normal. But the difference between them and everyone else is they don't let them stop themselves. That's right, they look in the mirror and they're like, let's fucking go. And then they go do it. Exactly. Yeah. So the first thing that you should do is challenge the ideas that you grew up with, whether within yourself or the world's ideas. <laughs> and you know, if you can get a help of a counselor to help speed up the journey, the more power to you. And it's better to do this now than waking up at age 45 and wondering, oh shit, what have I done in my life? You know? Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. And then you're feeling miserable and wondering where it all went wrong. So start now. Number two, your parents did their best to raise you, mm. even if it was a little bit poorly. So the thing here is, is whatever your parents knew in life, they pass that down to you. Very simple, right? So the more they know, the more of a leg up you get in life. The less they know, the more you're gonna have to do that leg work yourself. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that it's impossible to get anywhere successful or what you define as success. However, it's gonna take more education, curiosity, and an open mind. Remember this too, you essentially are an experiment in nature and there's no cookie cutter process that will work for either you or everyone else. You must discover this for yourself. Also, Shane Shun shit. More combat, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so hear me now. Stop looking at how others have it all figured out. Mm -hmm. These are illusions most of the time, especially on places like Facebook. Oh, we have a perfect family, and here we're celebrating our child's birthday, and look at the house we have, and the cars we have, and mm -hmm. everything's great, and we're traveling, or it always seems like people are traveling, or having the best food, or having the greatest time, or getting all the promotions, and in some ca people's cases, that's probably true. Mm -hmm. However, that isn't always the full story. It doesn't mean that they're always happy. Right. You get what I mean? Because people only put their best lives on social media, and not their worst you know, situations. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They don't want to look like a punk. Exactly. If they do have it figured out, you can learn from them. You know, I know it's hard, but try not to compare, only admire. And then you can go from there. Exactly. Was it Teddy Roosevelt said something along the lines of comparison is the something of joy or something like that? Hmm. Maybe. Destruction something of joy. Teddy-ish, he would say. I'm pretty sure we're gonna put um, 
the real quote on the bottom. Sure. All right, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching part one of You Always Have a Choice mm -hmm. to not have to work your terrible job. Yes. Or the job you hate. Mm -hmm. Also, thank you so much for tuning in every single week and watching us. Please share yes. our video any way you can mm -hmm. and you know, maybe somebody else will benefit from this. Yeah. And also, if you like our content, like, comment, share and make this choice to subscribe yes subscribe yeah. and we will provide yes sir <laughs> and as always continue to gain knowledge take action and be, be unstoppable, unstoppable. Woo!